This is Kite over at Card by Vanguard Calgary, and finally doing my Pale Moon deck profile. Like I said I would in the tech talk, which never happened. <laughs> That's for a good reason though, I got sick. But let's get started here. I am currently running my Hades Ringmaster as my starting Vanguard. Easy free soul charge to start off the game. Everybody hates it, but I love it. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Alright, so to start it off, my trigger lineup, five crit. Four with the one that moves the soul, and plus 3k to a rear guard. Five crits, because everybody hates it when you stack a crit. Alright. Five draw. And I just like the number five, all right? It's great. <laughs> Everybody hates five. They always expect six or seven. But the draw trigger has a special little effect. When he boosts, he goes back to deck, and you get a soul charge. All right? Four heal triggers. One of them is Popcorn Boy, because I wanted to make this creepier. <laughs> Honestly. Creepy. <laughs> and finally, the stand trigger. Skywalker. Honestly, so good. Unflipped damage. It's gonna make this amazing. Alright. To the grade ones. Run three of the death metal bicorn. Just because it's OP. Good line. Then three. Full Zymia. Yeah. <laughs> when it's behind the Vanguard and it's actually I think it's just when it boosts. Yeah, when it success boosts a successful attack, it's soul charge one. Very useful. Quantum mechanic. More of a situational card as to a really really good card just kind of helps boost that line a little bit at the end for purple trapezes because it's fun get it out of the soul move another card into the soul get a new card out and finally to round off my grade ones four skull jugglers free soul charge whenever it's called to grade twos, we're gonna start off with everybody's <laughs> favorite clown. Peekaboo. I kill you. Such a dirty card. Especially when it's coupled with a purple trapezes. Makes it free. All you have to do is soul charge two. And we got two big league bear. Whenever it moves from guardian circle to the drop zone, I get to soul charge two. And then we have three elephant juggler. Normally you'd run four, but I find three would, is best. Gives me an option for two bears and two peekaboos, as well as giving me three dancing princess on the night sky. Skill, counter blast one, and move a grade two or lower to your soul. That's how you get peekaboo in the soul. And everybody hates you. And on to the grade threes. What this whole thing is about. Robert. Robert just wrecks so many decks, and that's my school bell. We're gonna finish this really, really fast. Robert's skill, it's a mega blast, you move all their grade ones to this soil. It's gonna get really loud in here, so I'm gonna just talk louder. <laughs> and then Midnight Invader, when you couple it with the Death Metal Bicorn, it's a 20k line making them drop 15k in shield. Robert's skill also works on rearguard, which makes Sarah the round out to my grade 3 lineup. Sarah is just a beat stick card. Robert can get his off and then you can put him into soul when Sarah Sarah's attack hits if you check a grade 3 and just put and pull out another grade 3 for a free attack. Sarah also adds 3k when she attacks. That is my Pale Moon deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
subscribe, thumbs up, I don't care. I'm having fun. Later.